my dear Ellie. I have to find her. A shred of hope. Oh, what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. Walking along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. They speak of a fisherman who was lost in a stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. What misfortunes could have drove him here? I have offered my right arm and spoke the correct words in his absence. Only pain accompanies me towards my demise. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. There's something wrong in all of us. Only the slumbering God can save us now. What God is he talking about? As we sinked our feet in the sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear each of her breaths being shorter and shorter. And by the time I finished my story, pneumonia took her life. uneducated fools. They won't let me write for them. They're all fishermen with dirty scuffed clothes and smell horrible. Their beards reek of alcohol and spit comes out when they talk. I'd rather stay another four hours at this point and take care of the problematic mechanisms of this handcrafted construct. I do not regret this journey. It certainly made life more interesting since then. Not to mention the view from up here. Misery and sadness of mankind fade away into the line where the sea and the sky collide. Oh, he is not wrong there. He's a hell of a view. saw something towards the horizon, behind the mist. It wasn't a whale or a great white shark. Its many legs stretched a hundred feet. 